Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Legacy series from none other than Taylor Guitars. A beautiful revisitation of some of the original guitars that left the Taylor factory in 1974. Drawing inspiration from some of the original construction designs with some introduction of the modern innovations that really made the company what they are today, this is a perfect recreation of some of the original Taylor guitars that we all know and love. Let's learn about them. Well, let's jump into it, ladies and gentlemen. The Taylor Legacy Series is the newest line of guitars from the Taylor Guitar family. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of a revisitation of the original Taylor guitars that left the factory in 1974. There's five models in total. Um, of those five, we will be demoing three of those today. We're still waiting on the other two, but as soon as those come out, we promise we're gonna get you some nice videos on those. But I'd like to go ahead and start with the Grand Auditorium of the bunch. This is one of two Grand Auditoriums in the series and this is the 514 CE Legacy. So it features a couple of things. So one, we have a western red cedar top with neotropical mahogany on the back and sides. A very classic combination for an acoustic guitar, but the western red cedar top really adds that extra degree of warmth and balance. So whether you're strumming or finger picking, uh, it's going to have a great uh, warm response that's really going to uh, warm your bones on a chill winter evening. Interestingly enough, all of these are going to be X-braced. There's not going to be any V-class bracing, and that's because that's going to be more authentic to the original tailors of this time period. The Grand Auditorium was released in 1994, so they're trying again to kind of re-release the original ones that came out. So we're going to see X-bracing on the guitar. We also uh, know that most of the Legacy series, actually all of the Legacy series, aren't going to feature their ES2 electronic system. Now, this particular 514 is very interesting because as you see, we have an ES2 pickup system on there. Could it be a prototype? Could it be a first run, you know, kind of deal? But expect these going forward to have an LR Bags Element VTC under saddle pickup system. Very nice response. It's what was on the original Taylor guitars. So keep that in mind. One more thing I wanted to mention about the Legacy series is that the first runs of these guitars are going to have something very unique added to them. Um, on the inside label of the sound hole where they write the serial number, the first runs of these Legacy series guitars are going to be hand autographed by Bob Taylor and Kurt Listig. The original founders of the company, which is a very, very cool addition. I don't believe Taylor has ever done that in any standard series of instruments. So it's a very unique thing. So if you're looking to get something that's, you know, maybe a little bit more unique to your guitar collection, as well as a beautiful playing instrument, uh, get your hands on one of these. And it's worth mentioning that there's been a lot of excitement, you know, amongst us cohorts in the guitar world about these guitars being released. So we expect them to be very popular. If you're curious about these, please get to your local guitar shop and see if you can play one today. Um, you can check us out on haggertysmusic.com. You can send us a message even if you want a sound demo or come into the shop. We'd love to meet you and you know give you the experience that we're known for. Next on our Taylor Legacy series list is the Jumbo body shapes. There's two jumbo body shapes introduced to the new Taylor Legacy series. There's an 815, which is a jumbo body six string, which again, we will be releasing a video on very soon, so look forward. And then there's this one, the 855E, jumbo body 12 string acoustic. We all love the chime and ping of a 12 string acoustic guitar. What better way to celebrate that lovely tonality than by releasing the original ones that Taylor made back in the 1970s. As far as construction, it's a very classic recipe. We have a Sitka spruce top, we have Indian rosewood on the back and sides, and we have an X brace with an LR Bags Element VTC under saddle pickup. Uh, we also have ebony bridge pins with abalone dots on the bridge. And speaking of the bridge, we have a very, very unique looking mustache style bridge. I really appreciate the, the geometry of the bridge piece. It's it's a little imposing, it's kind of out there, but it's not too loud and doesn't take away from the overall aesthetic of the guitar. I think it's a beautiful addition. Um, we also have diamond inlays and kind of a more of a, 
flatter looking headstock piece. If you look at the tailors of today, you really tend to notice that the sides here kind of just have a little bit of a curve to them. This flatter uh, kind of more response to her just kind of gives it a little bit more of that classic look of those original ones that Taylor was making. And you heard me strumming and plucking along on this thing at the beginning of the video. Uh, I'm really impressed by the bass response on these guitars. I think Taylor guitars have a very good reputation of being very balanced across the frequency spectrum, bass, mids, and treble. I think they also have a reputation to maybe sometimes lean on the brighter, more clear side of things. Uh, but this particular guitar, I am thoroughly impressed at how low the bass gets on these. It really gets you that nice low end thump that really shakes your bones while you're playing those chords and uh, will definitely make you feel very inspired to keep playing as soon as you sit down with one. So uh, marvelous, marvelous guitar. Like You should try playing this one first when you try these out. It's really, really good. And last, but certainly not least, to round off our Taylor Legacy series of guitars is this, the 810E, uh, the classic Dreadnought body shape. Now, I've played a lot of Taylor guitars over the years, and you've seen me do a lot of videos, and I've said how much I love each and every one of them, and I want to say that so I can make the following statement. This is the best Taylor acoustic guitar I have ever played in my entire life. And I think you're going to agree with me when you get your hands on one of these. Tonally speaking, it has everything you could possibly ask for from an acoustic guitar. The bass end is low and thumpy that shakes your whole body as you're playing. The mid range is snappy and very defined. So when you're finger picking, you're getting a wonderful focused tonality. And the treble frequencies, they're clear, they're crisp, they're not overpowered. They work together with everything else that's going on. And it's balancing all of these wonderful tones at once as you're playing one simple chord. It's absolutely astonishing to me that they haven't done this body shape the whole time they've been a company. I played these and immediately I, I kind of knew this was one of the best I have ever played. And as I've gotten to know it and gotten familiar with the model, I can say with confidence, this is by far the best Taylor guitar I've ever played. Um, but again, I think you will love this. You need to play one of these. If you are going to play only one Legacy Series guitar for one reason, you're gonna play all of them. But if you decide to only play one, please consider this one. You need to try it. But enough about how great it is, let's tell you about it. It's, it's a very simple design. Again, Sitka spruce on the top, Indian rosewood on the back and sides. We have, uh, again, ebony bridge pins with the abalone dots in them, diamond inlay, the straight ear peg head just like the jumbo body guitars. It's, by all means, a dreadnought acoustic guitar. The ubiquitous guitar shape that's been around since the early 1900s. It's the recipe by which we compare all other acoustic guitars to. It's just the most familiar. When we think of the terms acoustic guitar, this is the shape that pops into our head. And Taylor does it marvelously. I cannot say enough good about this guitar. It is absolutely stunning. I am so impressed with the guys over at the factory when they uh, put this together. It's, it's marvelous. Well, there you have it, folks. The new Taylor Legacy series of guitars. Taylor Guitars has been a company for 50 years now, which is, <laughs> which is no small feat. What better way to celebrate 50 years of business than to make a glorious return to their humble beginnings? It's a crazy story when you think about it. You know, the 1970s, they had just bought the American Dream Guitar Workshop and had to deal with the challenges of a flooded workhouse the first week of starting and barrier after barrier of trying to become a successful guitar company. And now they're this monumental company that's, that's making hundreds of thousands of guitars and even more so planting hundreds and hundreds of thousands of trees across the world to make sure that the tone woods that we know and love for these instruments stays at a healthy level. It's truly a marvelous message and a marvelous story and one that would inspire any person, whether they're a musician or not. And if you want to know more about these Legacy Series guitars, uh, I got the great opportunity to interview Bob Taylor. Uh, we're going to put the link in the description below. So if you want to learn more and I get to talk with the guy whose name is on the headstock, it was a really cool opportunity. I think you'll find a lot of information about it and get just the overall mentality of Bob Taylor when they were starting this company. Uh, but until then, 
try these guitars. Come into the shop, check them out on HaggertysMusic.com. Follow us on all social media. We're on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And we release regular content like this on the regular. So give us a follow while you're at it. Until then, my name's Vince. This is the Taylor Legacy Series. Have a great day.